Overview, now in its seventh generation, the Sentra is Nissan's compact car, one competing in a populous and increasingly competent field. Redesigned for the 2013 model year, it's offered in a single body style, a Ford or sedan, with one engine, a 1.8-litre dock four-cylinder. There are two choices for routing power to the front wheels, a six-speed manual only on the base model and a continuously variable automatic, Xtronic, in Nissan's nomenclature. There are four trim levels, S$17,305, or $18,155 with the Xtronic transmission, SV19,125, SR20,735, and SL21,495. There also are numerous option packages for the SV, S, R, and SL models to enhance infotainment, interior appointments, and exterior appearance. Although it's denied the factory option packages, the S model can be had with a variety of port installed accessories, such as interior accent lighting, a trunk lid spoiler, and automatic headlamps. There's no hybrid in the center lineup but fuel economy is a strong suit, topped by the Fay Plus model, with EPA ratings of 30 miles per gallon city, 40 highway. Fay Plus is similar to an extra nice equipped S but an extra $400 adds underbody aero enhancements, low rolling resistance tires, and a subplanetary transmission gear give the package a one mile per gallon edge over other Xtronic centers in both the city and highway cycles. Build your OWN rank in segment. What's new? Updates to the central line for 2015 are confined to content. For example, the basic S trim level adds standard Bluetooth, steering wheel audio controls, cruise control, auto headlights, and a USB port. The SV gets a bevy of telematics, including Nissan Connect Sub with mobile apps, Bluetooth streaming video, and a text reading feature, as well as a rear view camera and a leather wrapped steering wheel and shift knob. Enhancements to the SR include rear disc brakes. And at the top of the order, the SL makes leather seats standard. What we like, the Sentra's exterior exhibits a little more character and distinction than some of its compact contemporaries and the interior is exceptionally roomy by class standards. Pricing is a strong suit in this teaming segment, where some compacts can approach and even crest $30,000. The bottom line on our SV test car, with a single option, was $19,845. That option was the navigation package, which includes a 5.8-inch color touchscreen and voice recognition a bargain at $720. Of course, it's not difficult to appreciate the Sentra's fuel economy, and the rear seat space and trunk room are generous for this class. What we don't like, Nissan has put enormous engineering effort into developing its CVTs, and the effort shows the very positive advantage in the new Maxima, which delivers the step ratios of a conventional automatic. It's among the best CVTs yet and the powertrain engineers say the achievement was mostly a matter of tweaking the software. Unfortunately, the tweak hasn't trickled down to the Sentra as of yet, and its slipping clutch feel and irritating noise crescendos are far from endearing. It doesn't help that the choice of a manual transmission is limited to the basic S model, and performance from the 1.8-litre 4 is tepid. The handling also is far from rewarding for those who like to drive. There are much better cars for those folks, notably the Mazda 3 and the Ford Focus. Verdict, the Sentra's blend of attractive price, competent road manners, and excellent fuel economy are tempered, some might say eclipsed, by indifferent performance and CVT wheezing.